of North to pick up our town to end the And what I can tell you right now, we have never, we have never had uh, so many tourism visiting our park than this year. That means it's money for us and we'll be able to finish a few projects that you have seen in your own. Is there some projects that you are seeing in your own? Like a small road there? Like a small class there? Like an hospital there? Kindly join the bandwagon. Let's work together. This county is ours. Lakini tusikubali watu ambao wanataka kusema tusifanye maendeleo. Ama nyinyi mtakubali hiyo watu? Si mnasikia hawa kwa social media wanaongea mambo mengi? Wacha tuachie hawa social media na TV lakini sisi twende kwa ground. Nilikuwa naambiwa kwamba watu watapigana, sijui mkutano haitaendelea. Nikasema waja niende mimi mwenyewe nikiwa na county security committee nikuje nione ni nani huyu ambaye anataka vijana wapikane ama kusimamisha miradi ya serikali na mimi nawashukuru nimeona kila mtu ana support kwa hivyo wale ambao walikuwa na hiyo nia kutoka leo kuendelea mbele na wataka tu kuambia kwamba kunyamaze tumeangalia kwa records tumeona ni government land na itatumika for the purpose of the public of Naro sio kwa sababu ya masinde itatumika because of you people na hiyo yote tuta support kwa hivyo wala ambao wanapanga maybe wakifikiria watakuja kufanya mkutano mwingine hapa nataka niwaambie kwamba kutoka leo hakuna mkutano mwingine contrary itafanywa ambayo inaenda kupinga maendeleo ya serikali ya county maendeleo ya serikali ya national government already nimepeana report kwamba we are ready kwamba mheshimiwa rais akipata nafasi akuje aweze kutufungulia hapa industrial park Juzi alianzisha ya Njoro last week alikuwa busia akaanzisha ingine kwa dini sio Narok hii wiki tu last week tumekuwa na CS wa cooperative amesema Narok county imepewa 700 million ya kujenga factory ya KCC kwa hii miaka over 60 years hatujawahi kuwa na factory hapa alafu mtu anasema hataki ichengwe kweli hii itawezekana hii maneno ya watu kupanga mikutano nyumbani Alafu unaleta mikutano hapo kwa rungu ya nyayo. Tunafikiria hiyo mahali kupika marufuku watu kufanya mikutano hapo ambaye haina mwelekeo. Kama chana mkutano ulifanywa hapo, tauni yote ilifungwa. Alafu tunaambiwa kwamba yale maneno yote ambayo tunaambiwa sio maneno ya kusaidia hii county. Tunaambiwa watu wameingia Mau, I want to confirm Mau Forest. Hakuna mtu ameingia huko. 
Mimi nikiwa county commissioner hapa since president ya launch mambo ya cleaning of the of the of the country tumepanda 4.2 million seedlings in Mao forest. Na ningependa kuuliza kama kuna mmoja hapa kweli ameona kweli Mao imekatwa. Hawataki tulipewa na president nikiangazi tu ilikuwa imetusia kidogo tunaomba mfua iweze kunyesha ili tuendelee kupanda miti. Hata leo simeona tukipanda miti. Hiyo miti yote ambayo tunapanda inaenda kwa record. Na by the end of the 10 years I'm sure tutakuwa tumepanda 552 million trees in all of county. Tutaweka hapa askari wao wana patrol hiyo area kuhakikisha kwamba watu wasifunge barabara ofyo ofyo. Na kama unataka mkutano, basi wewe omba mkutano uende stadium huko, uende mahali ambayo ni public. Lakini kuja kufungia watu hapa wengine wanaenda shughuli zao, watalii wanaenda eh, kwa national park, wengine wakonyo wanaenda kwa hospital, unaofungia hapo tu just because you want uweze kuonekana, uweze kuongea mambo kutokana na serikali. Nataka niwahakikishie kwamba we not allow it. Nasema ya kwamba tumeungana na bwana Dudu governor tumeungana na serikali ya uh, rais uh, Ruto uh, rais Ruto nataka kutangaza leo wamasai leo maana huwa unasema sujui knows wana nini sujui wamasai wana nini na mimi sisi sasa tunda chochote na wewe tulikuwa tunataka tu kuona wakati umeingia umetufanyia masuri kwa hivyo sisi sasa kubali kutoka kwangu kubali kutoka kwa wase kubali kutoka kwa narok nose maana hata mimi ninatoka na ros nose na pareyo pia natoka na narok nose kuwa sisi tutakuwa pamoja na wewe na serikali yako na hii ndio mimi nataka kukutuma mheshimiwa eh, governor na mheshimiwa pareyo na bwana commissioner pelekeni hiyo ujumbe sema wa masai leo wametangaza ya kwamba watakuwa na na yeye na tutaendelea kuwa na yeye e manager dia de mege akuna ile na kwa mtu mmoja mianga hiki serikali ya ruto serikali tutakuwa pamoja na rais ruto e manager doi it has come to our notice that the county government of narok has fraudulently obtained a title deed in respect of lemaret morijo 60 measuring 558.75 acres the land was actually held in trust by the county for the benefit of the Purko community. On the 2nd of August 2023, Mr. Ndutu, without the consent and knowledge of the Purko community, caused a title to be made in the name of the county government, dispossessing the Purko people the right to that parcel of land without following due process. We are saying that that title deed is actually not recognized in law. And the worst part of it is that that land was reserved from 1958 and the register uh, green card opened in 1972 with an easement that that land will only be used as a holding ground. Nobody has ever removed the title because it was held in trust for the community. So when Dutu made a title out of the land, or for the land, he actually committed a criminal offense. That is forgery, uh, making a document which is not contrary to the law, and I think that's what should be noted. And we are going to ensure that title revert back to the community. We have heard that uh, the purpose for actually uh, taking over the land is for development purposes. But there are constitutional paths to be followed to reach that stage. One, the community should be consulted. Second, the community should agree with any proposals made. Third, the community should be compensated accordingly because the land will now be taken from them and taken to the uh, to be run or to be administered by the National Land Commission. That was not done.
neither was the county assembly involved. The other day, it came to our notice that six, uh, 30, 30 acres of that land were actually uh, marked for a milk, a private milk uh, processing factory. That's the new KCC. And you understand that the, uh, the case of the ministry concerned actually acquired the land at the cost of 700 million. Nobody has ever explained to us because the paper was very clear. At a cost of 700 million. We do not know what happened to the 700 million. Who took it? Who was the beneficiary? It has also come to a notice that another 126 acres was taken away on the pretext that it was going to be used for, a, uh, industrial, for an industrial park. An industrial park requires only two acres. We have made, been made to understand that the same cartel is actually selling that land to an Arab investor without involving the community, without any right. I like the Maasai community and most of the Puruko community to note the following. I, as the patron of the Purko Development Trust, do not and will not accept the alienation of that land through any unconstitutional means. The land must be brought back to the community. The so-called leaders who have disowned their own community to give out the land have no authority to do so. And I would like to urge all the investors to desist from being misled to take up that land. Because this, that will amount to actually dispossessing the poor people of their land. That will be contrary to the constitution of Kenya. It's actually contrary to natural <coughs> justice. It's like actually taking blood money. You're denying a community its birthright. I'd also like to tell the government of Kenya that the Purko people are also Kenyan. And I've just heard Ntutu say today that the dispossessing of the Purko has been sanctioned by the President of Kenya, Mr. Ruto. It has been sanctioned by other forces which we do not understand. And I'd like to call upon Mr. Ruto to know that land is our birthright and we are depriving our children of their birthright and their future. We are going to court. It doesn't matter whether I'm alone. It doesn't matter whether I'm with 10 people. We are going for the court to decide. Not you and your henchmen. I'd also like maybe to talk to the ministers concerned. What we are doing is depriving the Purko people their birthright. Don't do it. Jana kutoka saa kumi na moja, mbaka leo saa kumi na mbili, nimepigiwa simu na security yote ya Narok, na hata inje. Baka niambia kwamba, shamba ni ya serikali. Mbaka hata kanitumia title lead ya kwenesha, hiyo, shamba ni ya county government. Na waka niambia tukikanyanga huko, tunafunja sheria. Pasa aswa kanipigia, watunga kwa kanipigia, kanyambia, wachana na hawa watu sababu title imewekwa kwa jina ya county government walitoa kwa puruko wakaka nini county government na tukasema hatutaki damu ya watoto ya puruko imwagike hatukutaka imwagike tutafuata sheria kuhakikisha kwamba hiyo title deed ambayo imeandikwa kwa, gover kwa county government itarudi kwetu kwa hivyo ndio tulisema sisi tuwa na mkutano wetu hapa Basija waka waumiza watoto wetu bure, basija wakamwage waka damu, na niyo watoto wa purko tundi wa watawuwa na wenyewe. Na tukasema hiyo, sisi, sisi, sisi tunawapenda purko, na tutaki hata mmoja waumizwe. Wa Walilete askari mbaka kutoka Nairobi. Wamalete malori, wamejaza huku, wakitungoja watu uwe. Hatu kukuja watu uwe. Lakini wajio wanatumia nguvu kutunyanyaza. Hiyo shamba ndutu anadanganya wa maseba do shamba ni yao. Wajue kwamba shamba yata ambaye ni account government. 
kama ofisi ya county council kama uh, mashamba zingine za county hiyo ina inamaanisha kwamba sasa ni national land commission ndio inachukua hiyo shamba kwa hivyo community ya Wamasai wamenyang'anywa ndoto asiwadanganye hiyo shamba ati anawachukilia sababu hata ya sasa hana uwezo kwa hiyo shamba hiyo shamba sasa iko under the national government na tunajua wanashikana na mawaziri wengine wanashikana na watu wengine wakubwa watu nyang'anye hiyo shamba na wanatatubia serikali ndio waseme ni ya serikali wapeane vile wanataka wajipe na wallocate vile wanataka lakini ndio tunasema tutaenda mahakama mahakamani kuhakikisha kwamba kwa vile sheria haikufuatwa kutengeneza hiyo title deed tunataka kotini ifunjile hiyo title mbali tena kitu kingine county commissioner ni kama ali to threaten ni kama sasa sisi si watu wa serikali ama serikali haiwezi kusikiza kilio cha watoto ya puruko aliniambia sasa shamba ni ya serikali na sasa ime, e, hakuna puruko interest tuko na hakuna mtu atakubaliwa kwa sababu ni ya serikali na ni kweli amekuja kurudia huko sivyo amekuja kurudia hivyo lakini nataka kumwambia hiyo county commissioner hiyo nyanyashaji unyanyasaji ya wa puruko siku moja itakwisha utupige mtu nyang'anya mali yetu yote lakini mnajua hata baada ya mwaka 20 ama hata 50 ukweli itatokea na hizo shamba zitatoka kwa masi lakini sisi tutaenda kotini wacha waje watu waambie ama waambie kotini walichukuaje hiyo shamba ya community mpaka ikakuwa ya serikali la kwanza huyu mbunge hajawahi kuwa kwa azimio huyu mama hata wakati alikuwa anatafutiwa kura na pesa alitumia ni yauda sababu alikuwa anataka mtu hana nguvu hana elimu hana njia ya kuwatetea wa Masai na leo tumeona sijawahi kuona mbunge anasema watu yake ati wanyanyazi huyo ndio mbunge wa mpa Kenya historia ya Kenya ambaye ameungwa mkono kunyanyazwa kwa watu yake lakini mimi nataka kuhakikishia community ya Narok North wanajua hawana mbunge na singetaka kama yeye ni mama ya maana Hawezi kusema mama yake apate unataka tena kwa hiyo kiti. A resign aje atafute kiti kwa hiyo ya UDA. Kwa hiyo party ya UDA. Huyo anaitiita chama ni Council of Elders. Huyo ni chama ni Atumbo. Huyo ni chama namba aliuza hii town yote. Wakati alikuwa anatufuta akifikiria sisi ndio tutakuwa serikali. Huyo abautani yake ni tumbo yake mali itaingia chakula. <laughs> Mimi ndio nilimsaidia mpaka kwa Council of Elders. Siku ile tu wakaja wakaniambia na Bishop Tsapi nitoe kesi. Ndio wa Masai wakuwa pamoja. Hawa ndio sasa wanagawanya wa Masai baada ya kutoa kesi. Hawa nataka kuambia hawa sio watu wa kustusha nyinyi ati wa Masai wameenda. Sasa hata ndio sasa Masai wale walikuwa huko ndio wameenda. Wamerudi hapa sababu hakuna watu wanataka kukaa pamoja na hawa wawili. Leo tumeanzisha industrial park, tutaanzisha ya maziwa, tutaanzisha hizi zingine zote. Lakini tunataka tu kuambia mzee Raila, aachane na Narok kwa sababu watu ya Narok wamekubali ya kwamba watafanya kazi na William Samoei Ruto. Hii mambo yako ya kuja kuambia watu chensi ni mbaya sana kwa mzee kama wewe ya rika ya baba yangu kuja kutukana watoto. Ni mbaya katika kimila yetu ya Wamasai. Lakini ile kitu nataka kukuhakikishia Jamii yote ya Masai hawako sasa na wewe. William ametupea eh, Amboseli National Park na hii maneno kwa sababu jana ulikuja hakuna kitu lilete. William anakuja eh, hii mwezi inakuja na anakuja kuzindua industry. Sasa wewe ukikuja tu kusikupika kelele na unaenda bure hata sadaka uwezi tolea watoto ya Masai. Sasa tumechanuka. Hii maneno yako kila mtu amejua ya kwamba ni ya uongo na tungependa kuona tena wewe mwenyewe ukijaribu kuja kudanganya watu ya Narok. Mimi leo ndiyo governor na kama nime ni, unasema ati imeibiwa kura yako na Kenda kwa tangu tangu 1997 hii kura yako inaibiwa tu. Sasa kama imeibiwa hata ile ya 20 2017 2022 si hata hii sasa itaibiwa zaidi. Hii sasa kura itaibiwa mpaka hata watoto yako yote wataenda wote kupigia ruto. So hii maneno yako kuja kutukana governor hii hatuwezi kubali na wewe. Wewe ni baba yangu lakini ukikosa heshima, heshima ni pande mbili. Sasa wewe vile umekosa heshima, hata sisi watoto wako tutakosa heshima. So let's meet in court and the county commissioner should also be impartial in whatever he does. 
because uh, when this property was transferred to county government, she would have been the first person to investigate that matter because the due process of the law was not followed. And therefore, I want to inform the county government that there is a very big battle ahead and let them brace themselves for that battle. If you feel the party that elected you is not the right party, can you resign? Mama, can you resign and come fresh so that we can face you in the ballot? Because that's not the right thing to do. We, we feel so bad because we elected you so that you protect the, what belongs to the community. But what you are doing, you betrayed us. You are a betrayer. And I want to say in broad daylight, you are a betrayer. You have betrayed us. And time will come when you will pay it dearly. Kutoka 1957 back at Leo, Shamba Hold Ground in the Kweko, and the Kutoka ndi mama baka juzi wale wa mwisho ambayo tulitoka na watu ndi thati. Na hiyo mashamba yote zilikuwa kwa town. Na wakati wa wote mbaka leo ejia ichukuliwa. Wakati ya mwoye, wakati mwoye alikuweko, mashamba hiyo ilikuweko. Wakati uhuru alikuweko, mashamba ilikuweko. Wakati kibake ilikuweko, mashamba ilikuweko. Itakuwaje leo, hata kinyata baba yao ilikuweko. Itakuwaje leo wakati ya ruto tunakuja kwenye nyaso. Itakuwaje leo. Wakati ya ruto, machamba yetu, ya purko, inajukuliwa yeka elifu moja. Iyo tunaomba serikali ya ruto. Tunaomba awaja machamba yetu. Ruto hana haja na machamba yenu. Ruto hameseka uwa forest ya mau. Ile ambayo mulikuwa munaambiwa ni ya nataka. Hana haja. Nini ni itakatasa sisi kujiunga na wakenya? Leo hii mumesema about a narok north hata mwenye amefurahi ni mimi ambaye ni mbunge wenu. Kwa sababu sasa nikisalimia rais na muambia about an. About an. Si tumesema about an. Hiyo mambo ingine yote ni kelele tu. Sema about an kutoka kwa mbunge Lakini mili nitangulia, lakini leo ndiyo atharani. Emi gidi ya mari ya la daima yani.